Stay tuned for another interesting episode. So really the main difference is we have this page here on the Bitcoin Gold website saying Bitcoin Gold mainnet is live. We also have people mining Bitcoin Gold now. And you have this little section here where you can check your balance that you had in uh, your Bitcoin wallet to see what you would have in Bitcoin Gold after uh, a snapshot. So you can check what your balance would have been on the snapshot by this section here by putting your Bitcoin wallet address in. It's saying here, never share your private key with anyone. And I'd like to stress that as well in this video. You shouldn't have any reason to have to share your private keys to get the Bitcoin gold. If you don't understand it, just wait a little bit longer. Your Bitcoin gold isn't going anywhere. And if you're on those exchanges, um, it should be done for you. Okay, guys, here we have Bitcoin gold. We had the Bitcoin gold released today. So now when you look here on the coin market cap, it's no longer Bitcoin gold futures. It's the real deal that we're working with now. So Bitcoin gold has begun mining. And we have this article here by Bitcoin uh, magazine that explains how Bitcoin gold is meant to be basically an ASIC resistance Bitcoin. So with the current Bitcoin, the way things are working, Bitmain is controlling everything, a company from China. Meanwhile, China is anti-Bitcoin and Bitcoin is illegal in China, but all of our Bitcoin is coming from China. So we have a centralized mining company called Bitmain that's controlling everything in Bitcoin. It's controlling all the mining and they're controlling the price of the mining equipment, which is then uh, centralizing and basically um, monopolizing the Bitcoin mining industry. And so Bitgold is ASIC resistance. So it doesn't need this special chip, ASIC computer chip that is uh, made by a few, a handful of companies. So basically everyone is on an even playing field with Bitcoin gold. And uh, it's saying here it was initiated by Jack Liao. If we go here to uh, Bitcoin gold website, we see that their team here, Jack Liao is the founder and the lead developer is this uh, Hextro tab. Hax, Haxero tab or whatever his name is. So basically it's like a, a Satoshi Nakamoto for Bitcoin gold. There's this pseudonymous um, developer. I don't know if that's done as part of their marketing to try to be like Bitcoin or what. Or if this guy legitly wants to be uh, anonymous. But yeah, here we have the pseudo pseudonymous developer Hextro tab along with a small group of volunteers that are working on the project kind of like Bitcoin so they're trying to even the playing field and you can read this article I'll put it in the link uh, in the descriptions but it's talking here how it is uh, adopted some of the Equihash proof-of-work algorithms that are used in Zcash so full ass ASIC resistance however is thought to be impossible any mining algorithm could be subject to specialized chips like Vertcoin the Beagold community, therefore, plans to redeploy a new proof-of-work algorithm hard fork if it's found out that ASIC chips for Equihash are being produced. So, basically, they have a contingency plan in place there. Bitcoin Gold is, is almost like a contingency plan anyways. Same with Bitcoin Cash and Segwit 2x. They're not really... Um, they're not really uh, the main Bitcoin yet. A lot of people might be telling you that Bitcoin Cash is taking over as the new Bitcoin. 
but that is not true yet. That has not happened. So this release here on Bitcoin Gold's website, their main net launch was today, November 12th. And the main reason I want to do this video is because a lot of people are going on to their exchanges and they don't see a Bitcoin Gold. Like here on Poloniex, we have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Dark, but there's no Bitcoin Gold yet. And Bitcoin Gold was supposed to have been released already. So Bitcoin, uh, here on uh, Poloniex, they're here, they have a notice about Bitcoin Gold. And I think the same goes for many exchanges. So this is very important, so we're going to read this. We have received inquiries about Bitcoin Gold and whether we intend to support it. Until the software is released for review, we cannot commit to distribution or we can pledge to support it. The reason for this is that we cannot be certain about the security and stability of the software, nor the state of health of the network prior to the launch. Further, regardless of what the project team behind the new token may assert to the exchanges prior to launch, we must be confident that a blockchain token does not require dangerous and questionable activities in order to support it. We stated in the past that the safety of our users' tokens is our chief concern. As such, we have refused to support a forked token unless it has implemented replay protection, which we will look into if Bitcoin Gold has fixed. We would like to further urge our users to be immensely cautious of any token that expects to be given private keys that control value of any other blockchain. This is dangerous and unnecessary, even for a, an alt like Bitcoin Gold that seems to distribute tokens using the state of an existing blockchain. Some reminders that apply to all balance duplicating alts. If you wish to be guaranteed tokens distributed according to existing blockchain address balances, you should keep your tokens in addresses for which you control the private keys, which most exchanges you don't control the private keys. If we credit accounts with forked tokens, we will do so according to balances at the time of the fork. If you have tokens on loan at the time of the fork related to that token, uh, they are not in your balance, therefore you will not receive any forked coins for them. Under no circumstances will we redeem tokens distributed according to the balances of addresses that contain customer funds and keep them for ourselves. Should we redeem them, we would only do so to distribute them to our users. There you go. Your exchanges aren't taking your coins. So if we go down here below the team, we see the exchanges that are supporting Bitcoin Gold at the current time. Bitfinex is the one we currently are trading Bitcoin Gold on. So if you, uh, if you want to trade Bitcoin Gold, go to one of these exchanges. I do not uh, suggest Bitfinex as an exchange, so um, I'm starting to move my money out of there. So I suggest people maybe try HitBTC because they seem to accept a lot of new tokens and uh, or Binance, one of those two. Bitfinex, there's a lot of uh, limit uh, limitations, so if you're not trading a certain amount of tokens, they won't let you trade, which uh, makes you stuck in a lot of trades. So November 12, 2017 at 7 o'clock p.m. Um, is when it's being released, which has already happened. At this point, we will provide the Bitcoin Gold full node client download on our website. So if you are a miner, you can find that on their website, what you need to mine Bitcoin Gold. The Bitcoin Gold blockchain will officially be live with blocks mined openly by users and pools from all around the world. And... Um, Again, their pools, their mining pools are down here. So you can join one of these mining pools if you want to mine Bitcoin gold. I like this Nibiru pool here. Wallets and exchanges will be able to process deposits, withdrawals, and trains. trades as soon as they are ready. See, they have as much time as they want to look over um, the software and the code. This is the culmination of months of hard work, which has led to many changes and improvements, including Equihash proof of work change, implementation of full replay protection. 
So they have fixed the replay protection problem. Protecting the community from attacks. Implementation of a unique G and A prefix address format, avoiding accidental coin transactions to incorrect destinations. Refinement of their per block difficulty adjustment algorithm to better respond to dynamic changes in hashing power. The usual minor tweaks and bug fixes as well as improvements. Success successful mining on several generations of public testnet, network and pool integration. So those are the changes that have been made since uh, many people have last heard of Bitcoin Gold. Basically since the snapshot on their fork uh, of, of the Bitcoin blockchain. Many service services have reported success working with working against the testnet. Others continue to work to improve their user experience. We're happy to report that men that more are announcing support for Bitcoin Gold every day. In the interest of fairness, we are refraining from mentioning specific providers at this time. <coughs> Poloniex. So we ask that users contact their preferred providers for updates on Bitcoin Gold support. Meanwhile, we will keep the main website updated with confirmed Bitcoin Gold supporters. Basically being uh, right here that you will see any new exchanges. So basically, these are the exchanges that are pro Bitcoin Gold. Any exchanges that are not on here are Bitcoin uh, or are exchanges that are on the sidelines or aren't so sure uh, about Bitcoin Gold or they're against it but really there's no room for politics here they have to accept the new forked coin but they do have um, a choice as to how long they take to uh, implement it so it's just a waiting game from now on guys from here on out uh, if you want to see exchange accept bitcoin gold sooner and release uh, bitcoin gold to their users then you should definitely contact them because the more uh, inquiries they're getting, the quicker and sooner they're going to release it. So there's uh, another press release here on NASDAQ that uh, Bitcoin Gold has uh, done a press release with. So you can read this. I'll put it in the link in the description below as well. But basically it's to get more people to uh, know about it and to get create a buzz. Because now, today, not a lot of people are talking about Bitcoin Gold, but it was the release. A lot of people are talking to about it up to the release. And if you, uh, if you try to search Bitcoin Gold release, you won't find anything because nobody's talking about it or everything is going to be released tomorrow about Bitcoin Gold. So we can go on the exchanges here. I just want to say... If uh, you're buying Bitcoin Gold above 300, 350, um, you're buying it too high. You should be selling your Bitcoin Gold around the 500s, the high 400s to 500s. So put some stop orders in there maybe. And you should be buying, if you're getting it lower than $300, then uh, that's a smart buy. If you're buying it below $200, then uh, you got a, basically a steal. So anybody who bought Bitcoin Gold um, when it was low there, they definitely uh, have made money and they're going to keep making money. We see also Bitcoin Cash today is holding that $1,300 mark. So we're here with Bitcoin Cash. So up here in the, the high uh, thousands and into the two thousand dollar range we see that it had a spike here uh, up into the two thousands almost up to to uh, three thousand so it shows us that the market can go up there when the volume supports it so you can have some stop orders up here um, I don't suggest buying anything uh, buying Bitcoin Bitcoin cash um, at 1300 unless it's just a little bit um, but you can probably catch it in the 1200s or down or below so you can put your your stop orders 
down there to buy. So you also can go to the social section here and follow Bitcoin Gold so you know when uh, things are happening and when you know the price is going to go up uh, and you'll have, you'll have the news, you'll have access to the news. Um, when you have access to any news and you follow any social media, you have an advantage over other people that aren't doing that. So uh, Bitcoin Gold, is that an okay price to buy right now, guys? When you have access to any news and you follow any social media, you have an advantage over other people that aren't doing that. So uh, Bitcoin Gold, is that an okay price to buy right now, guys? Thank you.